How are you, Brady? I'm well. How are you doing this morning? Amazing. And you thank are you amazing. so you look much. Great. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Hey, Christine's on. Dana, Sharon, Christopher, Lori, all these people. Jack. All right. We've got Karen. Love it. Yeah, we got people all across the globe here today. That's so good. I know. Isn't it fun? So Mom, Brady, um, before, I, I don't think I really need to introduce you. I think everybody pretty much knows who you are. Although I will say I do have some people that are on here that may not be KW because they may be my referral partners from other companies um, where maybe we don't have somebody there. So I will introduce you. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to tell you something that I don't think you know. Um, I met you for the first time in person in Miami at the... Um, Luxury Mastermind at the Rainbow Network. Yes. In 2021. That's right. And, and that was really a pivotal turning point, I think, in my career, in our, my team's career. Um, that meeting was a life changer for me. And I went from, yes, we sold luxury to we sell luxury after that event. I left that event and uh, my life was changed. Oh, wow. Thank you for sharing that. That's You're welcome. Great. Thank you for having been there. And it was one of those events where, you know, it was it was a, a long drive from my house and I struggled. It was on a Saturday. Do I want to go? Do I not want to go? Because I don't like driving in Miami. And uh, it was worth every second. And it literally our business like skyrocketed after that meeting. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's important for you to know the impact that you have even on, you know, one person sitting in the, in the audience that, you know, we, we barely spoke. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's our culture, right? That's our Keller Williams culture. So I'm honored to, to hear that. And I'm thankful that that happened to you because that's really my job. So I'll just get started if I can. Yes, um, absolutely. My my name is Brady Sandal. Like you, I'm in production. I sell real estate in Palm Springs, California. It is winter. Uh, 36 degrees apparently is the is the temperature right now in Palm Springs. So it's a time for a jacket. I know, Christine, shocking. Blue sky, but cold. So on that note, I wake up every day, just like all of you, to change lives. We're moving owners to be sellers and shoppers to be buyers and agents who maybe don't think they sell luxury or may not believe they have the right to or deserve the opportunity to. My job is to change your mental trajectory and then give you some things that you can put into your business every single day. And that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to spend some time talking about that. And I just want to give you a little bit of snapshot that... Um, Everything I'm going to say to you, I've learned throughout the last probably three years of being in this seat called Director of Growth. My job is to influence the 15,000 agents who are in 900 market centers and basically take content, Sandra, that's from people who sell luxury goods and services in and outside of real estate and take those messages to our own team members inside Keller Williams who do sell real estate. And the thing that I've learned from everyone over the last couple of years is that luxury is all about emotion and psychology. It is no longer a price point. The more mature generation looked at luxury as a price point, but the current generation wants it to be emotional and psychologically beneficial. And here's why. How many of us are glued to our devices? We're looking for instant satisfaction, instant enjoyment. We're not looking, searching based on price. We're searching on that endorphin that we get from that experience. So luxury is all about the emotion psychology. And it's about what we feel in that particular moment. So let me ask you, come off mute. What are some brands or companies that make you feel great? Brands or companies Jaguar. that make you, what was that? Jaguar. <laughs> yeah, Jaguar. Great the brand. Cult. Absolutely. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis another Vuitton. great one. Gucci. What was that? Gucci. Another great one. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Love it. Love the clothing. Love the home selection. Four Seasons. 
Yeah, Starbucks. I mean, there's always great things because it makes you feel great in the moment that you're in. The four seasons. You, four seasons. Michelle, you're absolutely right. Fairmont. Right? Fairmont. Lori, good to see you on screen, my dear. Glad yeah, you're you taking too. care of yourself. Yep, thanks. Well, when we look at that, we can look backwards five years. And there was a study done in 2019. This was before the pandemic. Before the pandemic. And of all the American citizens, because the survey was done in America, that completed the survey, there were tens of thousands of people who did. 61% declared they were lonely. 61% declared they were lonely. Wow. And what luxury brands have figured out is that luxury consumers go to brands that make them less lonely, which means we have to be approachable for consumers who want to be less lonely. A lot of you are nodding on the screen. So when we interviewed about 25 companies to get them to look at Symposium, right, our, our global conference we do in October, I want to go to that next year. here's what we learned. And that is the human connection that a brand has with the consumer is far more important than the money they spend on that consumer. Right. The human connection. Now, here's the reality. We just listed a home for 25 million and one for 12 and a half and a few down at five. That's pretty big money for our market. But you know what the number one thing they want from us? It's time with us. They want time with us. They don't want a gift from us. They want time with us. And luxury brands understand that consumers are distracted by devices. So the only thing they can do to stop the physical scroll is to spend time with us, consumers. We need to do the same thing with our consumers. Now, here's a, how many of you like a math equation? Lori, I know you love math, right? How many of you love math? Karen, you like math? Here's the math equation, ready? Yay. Relationships relationships plus magic equals stories. Now, for those who went to symposium, Jack was there, Karen was there, others were there. We learned that when you have a great relationship and you add magic to that relationship, they will tell a story about you and your brand. And the story is nothing more than the magic they experienced at the time they were with you, right? So the relationships that you have, you put in some magic and that creates a story. And remember, we can take this from Disney and we can take this from Lexus. Remember that big red bow at Christmas time? That big red bow, right? Luxury consumers choose brands that make their dreams come true. Luxury consumers choose brands that make their dreams come true. So let's, let's ask the question, what would happen if we moved away from conversations that sounded like this? When do you plan on moving? Um, when would you like to sell? Would you like to cash out? Would you like to buy in? What if we moved away from that is what piece of real estate can we sell in any market to make your next dream come true? What real estate could we buy in any market to make your next dream come true? In other words, the real estate can fund the dream either by cashing out or investing in. So start using different language to get a different outcome. Now we know that in a market like this, which is a normal market, the motivated consumers are the ones moving. They're motivated to move. Prime example, last week, someone called me. You'll love this story, Sandra. He said, hey, um, I'd like to list my, my million dollar plus home with you because I wanna move three streets over. I'm yeah. like, Three streets over? Yeah, I need to be closer to my friends who are three streets over. Now, there are two houses on each street. So we're going to move six houses. We're going to move six houses. 
Now, <laughs> I could become parental. I could become like, why would you do that? I think that's dumb. But I'm like, oh, of course. It'll be our pleasure to move you six doors down, right? Because he believes that house will fulfill his dreams of being closer to his friends. And I said, well, what is it about that? He's like, well, as I age, and I'm like, you're my age. Like, we're talking about age right now. At 53, we're talking about age. At my age, I want to be closer to my friends. That consumer's perception becomes my reality. My head was like, why would you go through a move right now? Can't you just walk six houses? No, apparently he can't. He wants to live six houses down the street. So on that note, if we recognize that our job is to fulfill a luxury consumer's dream, then here's the reality we learned from um, Antonia Hawk, who was the opening keynoter at Symposium. And she said, quote, flawless service, flawless service has to be the new model. Not marginal, not exceptional, not adequate, not excellent, flawless. So let me ask you a question. And Denise, you're in, you're in SoCal, you know this, because it's like Southern California has lost its level of service. I just hosted a dinner party for 12, 10 people in a city. I wasn't there. It was our good friend's 90th birthday party. We paid for the whole dinner. The server forgot who the dinner was from. So when the check came, they're like, oh, your, your meal has been paid for. And they're like, by who? And they're like, oh, I don't remember that. How do you not remember that? I know. Lori, your jaw that went down, my jaw went seven floors below. I was like, hello. So I called and I said, hi, my name is Brady Sandal. I'm the gentleman that paid for the dinner party last night. And they're like, oh, yes. Um, so we made a mistake. Yeah, you forgot to tell them who the gift was from. Now, listen, I don't need the recognition, but I'd like the 90-year-old client to know what the experience was supposed to be like. And the server's like, yeah, we kind of messed up. And I said, yeah, you did. And let's not mess up again. Because I won't go back to that brand if I can't trust the server to say what they're supposed to say. Flawless service has to be the new model. We all make mistakes. But we have to go into the relationship with the concept that flawless service has to be the new model, Janet, M-O-D-E-L, the new model. And that means that every single touch point, every single touch point is the opportunity for you to declare you're different. Now, what I love about our KW Luxury agents, and I saw this when I worked for the Nordstrom family, is that you know how to show up. We may not be the company that sells every high price listing, but we are the company that shows up with the right mindset at every high, medium, and low price point listing. We know how to show up. We know how to show up. And then Brady, every- can you, talk to, can you talk to us a little bit about if we do have a mistake, how do we recover from that? Oh, I think yeah. a lot of people really suffer from that. Well, yeah, because we feel bad. And some but people go and hide and they don't oh, want to face yeah. it. I, I allow our team members to do what's called service recovery as quickly as they can. I don't need to be giving permission. They just need to execute the recovery. Now I can't throw a football. I can't even catch a football. I swam for 12 years. It's about as low contact sport as you can be. But if I'm watching the football game, which I did last night, Michigan against Washington, recovery matters. Recovery in sports, recovery on the dance floor, recovery on the stage, recovery in business, the speed of which you recover will determine the loyalty to the brand. Now, the Ritz-Carlton leadership shared something with us that I'll never forget. When there's a problem, if we recover from the problem quickly, the consumer will have a 67% chance of loving the brand more than if there was no problem at all. In other words, when you've recovered they're more connected to the brand than if there was no problem at all. 
You know why? Everyone's human. Mm -hmm. So and when we make, make a mistake, mistakes. we should embrace our mistake. And oh, we should yeah. take that as an opportunity to improve and win them back even, even stronger. Yeah, because here's the reality. Some of you are along the water, the coast. When we make a mistake, they drift away from shore. Those consumers drift away. We've got to pull them back. That recovery is the current to bring them back to shore, bring them back to the marina. So if you recognize that, then here's the funny little thing. That experience, what we give them is everything. Experience is everything and everything is an experience. Mm -hmm. Now we went on a photo shoot yesterday and I don't really need to go on another photo shoot. Do I really need to take the pillows and chop them so they have that, you know, I guess I do. Anyway, the seller is so excited that he's met the entire group during the photo shoot. They were so excited they had coffee and donuts. I mean, they were like excited. And I'm like, wow, what if we went to the cellar with coffee and donuts? What if we were the ones that showed up and made that experience? Now, it's interesting that that photo shoot has brought in two more listing leads in that neighborhood wow. because the seller told the neighbors how excited they were on this photo shoot. A photo shoot. Because it was an experience. experience is everything, everything's experience. Now, we learned at Symposium, which was in Phoenix, Arizona, at the end of October, that hotel brands that have consumers at a pool have to give them a wow moment every 60 minutes. So, Lori, imagine if you and I are in Florida visiting you and we're at your favorite resort and we're at the pool. They're going to come to us every 60 minutes with something because they know that Lori and I are on our phones looking at other brands in the area. They know if we're at the Ritz-Carlton, Four Seasons is geofencing our phones. Interesting, right? So on that note, when we have a successful mindset, it's based around our ability to do the same thing over and over again. What makes some of you so unique is the way you do things over and over, the repetition of your business. Well, when you have repetition, that creates a reputation. So the repetition of what you do creates the reputation of what you have. And the reputation is what creates customers come to you. The great thing about our brand in Palm Springs is, yeah, we've been the number one team four years in a row. Who really cares? But the 400 five-star reviews, what we do, the repetition over and over, has created the reputation, has created customers calling into us, which we love. Because when you say that you're great, and listen, if we spend an hour on Facebook, I could count the number of people that said, I'm the greatest, I'm the top agent in the market. You know what that can do? That can tell a consumer you're too busy to help them, that the consumer is not worthy of your time. That's not what you want. You want a consumer racing to you because of the brand that you represent, the standards of excellence, which, by the way, led to you becoming the number one agent in your market. So when you say you're great, it's marketing. But when they say you're great, it's magic. It's back to that relationship plus magic equals stories. And one of the things we do at KW Luxury is we have something called KW Luxury Pro. There are a couple hundred agents like Jack and Karen who are in KW Luxury Pro. And one of the great things we have is a call the third week of the month. It's in person and now virtually. Ours will be in Dallas on January 17th. We bring in experts and one expert we brought in were Three and Jackie Carpenter. They wrote a book called People First, right? And in this book, they talk about how you build a culture of love. Now that's around loyalty, ownership, value and excellence, loyalty. You want people loyal 
to what you want them to do, loyal to serve each other and the customer's ownership, ownership, value, and excellence. You want them to own the customer experience and value it and exceed and deliver excellence throughout it. And then remember, doing the basics is boring, but when you do them at a consistent, high standard delivery level, it's magical. So I'm seeing there are a couple of questions in the chat. Let me go through them. Do we allow our clients to remain during the photo shoot? It depends how crazy they may be. Because sometimes we've got, we've got like, I'm not crazy. I'm kind of crazy. And then I'm like super crazy and might need to be restrained. We send those people to lunch. Literally. Literally. So is texting a customer out? No. But texting typically for us is not designed to get them to do something different. So if I'm going to give them feedback, if I need them to lower the price, change the strategy, change the behavior, change something, I'm not going to text them. And here's my excuse. Hey, Jack, I thanks so much for your text. I'm calling you because I'm currently driving. And they're like, oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Brady, after the luxury symposium event, that was something that became really, like, really in, in, in my face of something that we have gotten away from a lot of the in-person or the, the picking up the phone. I think from luxury symposium, that was one of the things that I came home with that we need to one, stop texting so much. And two, oh. when we do not do it, like I'm texting my, my daughter or my husband or my friend of a hundred years, put yeah. a little more formality into it and a little bit more professionalism into it. So that was a huge takeaway for me from luxury symposium. I'm going to, I'm going to say something that's going to seem a little narcissistic. Our group of seven agents, and we had one on medical leave going through cancer treatment. So six people we closed 205 million last in 2023. Very I did nice. about a hundred million of that, almost a hundred million. But why I'm saying that is we require our team members to be on their phones, talking with people, asking a series of questions. We practice the Phil Jones language, the cards every single day, because when you're on the phone with the consumers, you get things done faster right? People typically go with text because they don't want conflict. They don't want rejection. The reality is you need conflict and you need some level of rejection pushback to get the job done. And I had two price reductions yesterday on million dollar properties, but I only got them done by the phone based on the conversation I had, which was simply a series of questions. And the question was, if we don't sell this home in the next seven days, what problem will that cause for you? And he said, well, my wife will kill me. I'm like, oh, well, then we should probably lower the price. He's not going to send that in a text message. Right. And your text message can be so mis misinterpreted by the, the tone and what you're trying to get across. Yeah. Remember. And we need to hear their emotion as we ask yeah. the question. Remember. The consumers, especially luxury, they want to spend time with you. They need to hear your voice. 61% of the people are lonely. If they wanted to text, they can sign up for any 1,000 applications where they can text all day long. They want to have a conversation with you. Imagine, are they going to text their doctor? Are they going to text their attorney for every major decision? No, no, -uh. no, no. They want you because they believe that you can help them achieve their goals. They believe that their perception becomes your reality. So on that note, what questions can I answer for the team before you go take on the world? Brady, one of the questions I have is um, your surprise and delight. I know you are a rock star at that. So one of the things that we struggle with on doing that is just the pure logistics of that. Mm. Can you give me a little bit of insight on, on how that is 
what the process looks like. Again, for I'm a lot like you. I have to have systems, processes, procedures. Yeah. And this is one area that we've talked a lot about it. We've, we want to implement it, but we just, I don't know that we have the body for it or, um, you know, we need the system. Yeah, when you're talking about, when Sandra's talking about the surprise and blight, we realize there are kind of eight defining moments. And if you want to learn and receive the package, just email info at bradysandal.com. And we'll share that with you, info at bradysandal.com. But real briefly, you don't need all eight. Just pick one. So it could be any single event, but you just need to build a system, you know, focus on one, and then you can add another one. And if you do have the, the ability to have a team, assign that to someone other than you. Your job is not to give gifts out. Your job is to take care of clients. So when someone on the team's giving them a gift, it's not because we want to give them a gift. The consumer is going to call in. So we gave them a Harry and David gift basket and they called and they said, oh my God, this basket's incredible. And I literally said, it is. And who else would like this type of basket when they close escrow? She said, the guy four doors down. So we just listed the guy four doors down. He was going to interview seven people, but not anymore. He signed the listing at 930,000, which by the way, was 250,000 less than what we just sold. Wow. I love that. And you didn't say who else do you know that needs to no. sell their house? You said who else needs to have a gift basket like this? Who else yeah. wants this experience? Yeah. Oh my God. Who would love this kind of gift basket when we close them out of escrow? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, Russ wants to sell. I'm like, can you call Russ? So she called Russ. Russ called me and then we signed the listing. You know. I don't really want to give people gifts. I can't even wrap a gift. I use too much tape, too many ribbons, too many bows. It's a hot mess. But what I'll tell you is I want to be able to be there. So Dana, Dana, did you have your hand up? I Someone did. Up Perfect. I did. Hi, Brady. I'm Dana. I'm with the Sandra Rathy team. I know that. I recognize you from the website. Oh, cool. Um, I worked in retail and luxury retail for many years before coming to uh, real estate. And um, I have found that it's also very important to uh, to be intuitive about how people, especially in the luxury sector, want you to treat them. Right. and want you to relate to them. Some people are more formal. Some people are more informal. Right. And and the experience has to be very personal, personalized. Right. It's not cookie right. cutter doesn't work in right. the world. So I just You're absolutely I right. speak to that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you just did a great job. You absolutely did a great job. Every person is unique. And we have to have that intuitive, emotional intelligence radar up to look at the signs that they're giving us. Remember, consumers make decisions based on what they see, and then they make a judgment on what they hear, and then they create a feeling of connection or disconnection. But the thing I love about Keller Williams is how our people show up. Now, they don't show up racing with ego. They don't show up racing with you know, self-awareness banners. They are very cautious, we read the room really well. We know when to calm down. We know when to get excited. We know when to extend a hand. We know when to extend Mr. or Ms. So reading the room, it matters, right? It matters. And then not carrying one belief from one luxury consumer over to another one. One of my wealthiest customers was the sole heir to Wrigley. And that guy was as casual as the day is long. He loved Denny's. Now I can enjoy a Grand Slam like anyone else. I'd prefer not to, but I can put on that maple syrup like anybody else. He's like, let's go have pancakes. I'm like, oh God, okay. I'm gonna have to nap the rest of the day. But we're gonna go have pancakes. Gary's the same way. I'll be with Gary all day Thursday and Gary's very casual, super casual. We don't have pancakes. We have protein shakes. 
which is better for the waistline that I need to get rid of from Christmas 2023, 2022, <laughs> and 2021. So, all right. So, so Brady, what I'm hearing you say is that you need to create the experience that they want. Yeah. Listen, I want you to know any single one of you can reach out to me. You can email info at bradysandal.com. I want to make sure that you think we, they want. It's just experiencing yeah, wanna, what they Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because really, this is about the experience. And Sandra, a gift, if you'd like, is if you want to schedule another conversation at any point, I'm happy to show up and go deeper into some of those systems. Because I want to make sure that everyone understands one thing. We all deserve to be at a table delivering the best service because that's really what consumers want. They perceive that you have the table that will allow them to achieve their goals. We call that table real estate. Love that. Well, I love you for setting this up. Oh, well, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day for us. Listen, this is what I'm here for. I'm going to ask everybody to just lean in, pick something that you can make flawless. And then when you figure that out, pick the next thing and make that flawless. Because by the end of the year, you will have a flawless service program. Candidly, that's what consumers want. Mm -hmm. Brady, I love that because when like me thinking about doing the surprise and delay, I'm a little overwhelmed, right? So it's hard to get started. And you telling me to just pick one, don't do all eight, do one and then add and add and add. And I feel right now at this moment, I can go do that tomorrow. Whereas in the last year, we keep avoiding it and putting it on the back burner. But That's right. thank you. I feel like you just freed me to allow me to go do that. I did free you. And I just put in the chat, um, kwluxurypro.com. That's the consumer site for all of you to see what we do for all of you and our guests to the company. You can go to kwluxurypro.com and learn more about what we're doing and how we're showing up for all of all of us. So on that note, Sandra, you're amazing. Thank we'll you. See you you're soon. amazing. All right. Thank you, Thank everyone. You, Brady. Take, care. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys. We're, yeah. He had a busy schedule, so I'll, I'll just uh, give a quick send off here. Um, we've got family reunion coming up in February. Hopefully you guys are all going to make it and make it to the luxury um, pieces there. There'll be tons of stuff there. Um, and if you need anything, I'm always here, always happy to help. So um, don't don't be shy. Feel free to to reach out. Thanks, Sandra. That was great. Thank you. All right. Sandra. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Sandra. Thank you. Thank you.